I'm just trying to brush out my lovely locks, greasy and then dry. It's a nice combo. So we're doing part two today of the mountains, which is basically we're going to leave the pension and we're going to walk up to the point where we finished yesterday. And then we're going to be collected from there and driven back down. So it should take around six hours. Rain is coming apparently at 11 o'clock and maybe four o'clock. So packing a poncho, but my bag is going to be super light. So it's just going to have like water in my waterproofs, um, some dry clothes to wear at the top in case I get cold. Um, some lunch food, some snacks, that's pretty much it. It is now 7.46, we're gonna leave in about 15 minutes and leave at eight o'clock. Boom, plan for the day. Thank you so much for watching the vlogs. Like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the journey. Ooh, that's a great camera angle, Sarah. Shut the gate. Okay. And uh, there's the mosque over there. That's what wakes us up about 6.5. I'm gonna show you the mountains in a little bit. It's very pretty outside with all the flowers. Um, yeah, a bit of road walking to start, and then about a six hour climb all the way up to the top. We've got about three kilometers of road walking to get to the mountains um, ahead of us. So it's a little bit blowy, a little bit windy, but we're looking at this as our warm up before the proper climbing begins. So Myra is very close to where we're staying, so that's the ruins, so we've done about 3k and then that's where we're heading. Up, up, up the mountains! So we're going to sneak through this little uh, alleyway I presume. Uh, and then uh, through through here. <laughs> Let's go. Have I shown you these thorns? Look at them. They are just lethal. And this is what we are walking past. These are also look at those ones those thorns so we're heading down this way basically we've walked along that road turned up through here and then we've been sort of zigzagging up this up this path and that's where we're going to be climbing through up there there's the marker then turn left path that we're currently walking on at the moment is well it's going to be brilliant but it's this type of sort of long flat stone so it's very easy to or easier to to walk on it makes such a big difference like this is very pleasant much more pleasant than i was expecting not gonna lie okay that's a that was a good climb up. I probably only done like 300 meters, but yeah, felt good. Felt good. Getting a sweat on. Oh, so there's a little fire, and it's like they're burning plastic. And then we've got these two little um, monsters. Oh, they're backing up. I think we need to go this way. I'm breaking this down into like different levels. So the first level is obviously reaching the first road, which is just down there where all those greenhouses are. And then up there, there is a second road. So this will be level two that we're doing, which is looking like this. Oh yeah. This is uh this is the next challenge getting up that bad boy. We're probably on about level five now. <laughs> They're coming up to another road at the top. Um, would you rather climb up a mountain or down a mountain? Which do you prefer? Comment down below. Up or down? Which would you prefer? I prefer climbing up. I feel as I've got more control. Climbing down, I feel as though it's harder on my knees. We've made it up to the village. Little village up here. Lady behind me getting water out of her well. And then this is a water source. Even though it's got a cup, I would still filter it basically. Ooh, these two little 
Oh, stretch the hamstrings. Oh, that's a nice stretch. Oh, yeah. This little town is full of water. I think I spotted about eight or nine wells. Um, it's always interesting. You don't know what you don't know until you know it. Um, also, the sun is shining, the skies are beautifully blue, um, but all our weather apps and everything else are basically saying rain, 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 rain. So it's quite interesting when you're up here and it's like picture perfect. Betty Bar. Bar. Hello, hello. Uh, um, it's quite interesting to think, ah, oh, could we have hiked this? Like, not hiked it, I mean camped it, sorry. Could we have hiked it with full packs? and camped out here and done the full three day stretch. Knowing what I know now, I'd probably say yes, but I would carry that with. If the weather is bad in these mountains, you do not want to be on the Lycian Way. Like some of the stretches are just too, it's just too dangerous. Um, this is very nice, this is very pleasant. Back there is the village that we left and then like you can see over there, there's a road. We have basically come off the road, split here, coming onto this is the, is the Lycian Way. So we're going to sort of contour around this mountain, we're at 800 meters now, gonna rise up to about another 100 meters and then it'll dip down a little bit, continue around. We've got about three kilometers to go, but it could take like an hour for each kilometer. It's that sort of, it's that sort of time frame that we're looking at basically. Um, okay, let's get on with it. So we are back in one of the places where there's sort of no way marking. So we're following like the GPS on Kamut. Um, we know we need to get higher, but you can see like there's this quite a nice path down there, but there's also, there's a path here, there's a path going up. I mean, this is what we've been sort of walking um, under and through and around, but all of the rocks are really loose. Like it's just not, the ground is just not that stable at all. So every step you're like, is that a safe step? Is that a good step? Can I tread here? Um, but look at the road in the distance. There's the road. Um, anyway, onwards, upwards, persevere. Keep on going. And the terrain has changed again. So we've sort of crossed down into this valley and now walking through this uh, pine needle covered um, forest. Uh, we're getting closer, a couple of k to go, but we can see the black clouds coming in. So it's a race against the rain, race against the rain. look at how beautiful this environment is. It's nice and cool in here as well, just helping with the walking. We're basically walking up this, I'm going to get to a road and then it's about a kilometre to the next village which is where we finished yesterday. So we're connecting the dots. When I say road, this is what I mean, dirt track. And there she is, there's the blazers. Onwards. Oh, we're doing really well today. Day two of the mountain day. Black clouds are coming in. Oh, I just want them to blow over. Just blow away black clouds, blow away. I have finished day two of the mountain. So this is basically where we came down yesterday and this is where um, the guy collected us in the car, so we're here, we're ready, it's about 20 to 2, so hopefully he'll be here at 2 o'clock. The clouds are very dark and black going over that way, so I am quite pleased actually that we're not in the mount that section of the mountains um, today. We've been so lucky with the weather, as long as it just holds off for the next 20 minutes, um, I'll be grand. I've just sort of sat by a well, got the do goats sort of like hanging around over here. Um, but yeah, it's very, very peaceful, very quiet, very chilled. So what we'll do is we'll head back to the pension, um, charge our electronics, get everything packed up. I'm going to have a snooze, a little afternoon power nap, going to drink some water and um, get ready for tomorrow. We'll be leaving at seven in the morning tomorrow. Oh my God, they're just coming at me. Oh my God, this is getting crazy. Look at them all. 
They're all just coming down. Maybe the goat, the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd is here. Look at them go. I was just sort of like lying down here and then literally all these goats are just like coming past, aren't you? Aren't you, little goaties? Mm -hmm.